suspect charged with killing UT student Hadika Weiser is in court for a pre-trial hearing. His attorney is now arguing new methods DPS is using to test genetic evidence are unreliable. Keg Sands Alyssa Gord was at that hearing. Alyssa, what happened today? Well, Erin, it felt more like a biology lesson than a court hearing today as the state and defense went back and forth about the details of a new genetic probability testing method used in this case. Suspect uh, Mikhail Kreiner appeared in court. He's charged with capital murder of UT student Harika Weiser and maintains he's not guilty. In, uh, his case is headed to trial soon, and the defense wanted to get this complicated challenge out of the way before it went to a jury. The state says the new method of calculating probability of whose DNA might be in a mixture is scientifically valid, but the defense feels it's not reliable and the evidence should not be admitted. It's a newer discussion point in the legal community as new genetic testing has only been used this way by the Texas Department of Public Safety since March of 20. 2016. And if found guilty, Kreiner could face life in prison with the possibility of parole. Because he was a minor at the time when the murder was committed, he is not eligible for the death penalty. Aaron, back to you. The new DNA analysis system DPS is using is called StarMix. It allows investigators to analyze evidence that contains DNA from more than one person, making it easier to identify the profiles faster. Coming up tonight at 10, Alyssa will give us a deeper look at how it works and the role it plays in cases. House